back to this street your daily dose of what's up what's down on the wall, on on the lal street and of course uh, important stocks and important market voices right here on ntv profit let's first take a look at the markets and how the sensex and the nifty and the broader markets performed today it was uh, again markets fell for the third straight session not too much to actually you know, speak in terms of uh, volumes but again volatility reigned supreme if you look at the intraday pattern clearly tells you that it was again uh, trading in a very narrow kind of a, uh, pattern both the sensex and nifty the nifty in the end also uh, closing just marginally above the 4600 mark though on the intraday level we saw the nifty slipping below that particular level however on the technicals also not looking too good on the sectoral front uh, it was a broad based sell off bsc 500 uh, small caps mid caps on the on the sectoral front uh, the only visible upside was seen in selective sectors it and oil and gas for instance were the two sectors that actually outperformed real estate auto commodity space is what's actually uh, was not looking too good cap goods banking again not uh, uh, not doing anything as far as trading is concerned the all uh, sell off started off from the concerns being raised on wall street about the about the vi- viability of the financial sector and that per- percolated down to the asian markets and in the end we saw the impact on india as well weak news from asia and europe dragged the market slower you know, of course we also saw selling pressure prevail across asia barring china equity sell off uh, was not exi- we didn't actually see a uh, we actually managed to see a major pullback there as far as shanghai composite is concerned but the, the session was very very choppy right through the day in the end we saw a bit of a negative closing as far as both the sensex and the nifty is concerned the benchmark indices fell for the third straight session and of course the only visible uh, green uh, green shoots uh, we should say that uh, were clearly in the it space and in the oil and gas space for a, for a, for a particular point point of time also real estate power and cap goods were the worst hit stocks as far as the markets and of course it and healthcare were up largely on short covering but let's take a look at some of the buzzing stocks that were actually making headlines burger paints was uh, one of the top movers albeit in the small cap space at this point of time of course uh, there's news related to that uh, the company is likely to buy asian paints unit in china so of course uh, a fundamental news led to a bit of an advance on burger paints at this point of time on hpcl however it was the fact that crude prices have continued to trend lower they are still below 70 dollar 70 dollars a barrel mark so omc stocks were in a bit of a respite mode hpcl bpcl and iuc are looking to uh, at this point of time uh, but hpcl was up 6.5% the top mover as far as psc oil and gas index is concerned stride zacolab continues to move for the second straight session it's up uh, about uh, 4 four and 1/2% at this point of time but clearly led by it, it actually has backed the government's order to supply generic version of Tamiflu and the order to supply 7.4 million capsules along with some of the other names in the pharmaceutical business but uh... tubar.com